All right, so today's a bit of a funny one. We've got, we've had so much rain over the last week, so I'm trying to get a mowing today. Green's firm enough that I can mow it while it's wet like this, and I want to get some fertilizer out as well with all this rain about, but I've had so much rain, man. I'm going to show you guys what's happened in the green with all this rain and some plans I've got. I'll just show you how it's progressing along. It's going really, really well. Loving it. Go, mate. What up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. So, as you can see, the green is really, really starting to fill in now. Even all of our gaps here, this is all new growth. Coming up through here where it looks a little bit lighter. Really starting to fill in now. To be honest, this green has moved so much. Over the last couple of days, it's been ridiculous. The rain has helped, the cool attempts, everything. Because as I've said, this is cool season grass. So it is loving this time of year. But we have had oh, at least 100 and, I don't even know, way over 100 mil, 150, even more than that in the last five days. So the dam is chock a block at the moment. It's overflowing out the back, down the bottom there. It's all the way up to our outlet drains. Luckily, they're just above um, the water level. So you can see this one flowing here, this one here flowing. This is the subsurface drainage. Then this one here is also flowing in. As you can see, it's right at the water level. The dam is actually a little bit fuller than it is. It's constantly overflowing at the moment because there's so much water going into it. So generally it'll sit a little bit lower than this. So that's right on the line, which is lucky. Tell you what, push it right to the brink with that. But yeah, the rain, unfortunately, has caused problems, as you can imagine as well. So on our edges that Josh and I fixed up a couple of weeks ago, we've had lots of wash. It's held pretty well, but unfortunately all our ryegrass that we sowed in here hasn't germinated very well. Because it keeps getting washed out and I have to keep raking it back up. I've legit raked it up and fixed it every single day for the last five days. That's how much rain we've had. So you can see this here is a shocker of a spot. Because it's such a big slope that comes up here and the water comes down through here, just keeps washing it out like crazy. Now these parts are not really a big problem. The green's all good there, but I need to rake all that off now back into the second cut. We get a little bit of wash through this area here. And unfortunately this part here, which is actually part of the green from to about this point here, needs to be sowed yet again. Some of it came up and it's looking good. This is about 10, no, 12 days old now, this section just here. And that's come up pretty good. It's not, it's holding it and not eroding, but this stuff eroded before it even germinated. So it's caused a bit of a problem there. So it's another fix we sort of have to do. Lastly, this strain's going well. It could actually probably handle a little bit more water, to be honest. It's flowing in there well, because the rocks are sort of help, helping to hold it out and letting it flow in. And as you can see, the driveway here is where it all collects is me just pulling out all the pine and stuff that I had to fix up. Um, but it slowly feeds in there. The only problem is if we get like 50 mil in about an hour, it does have too much water here and it does go a little bit around the outside of our drain there. So my thought process is to widen that actual trench through there and put some more rock in there to help hold it up, but allow more water to flow into that drain as well because that drain can actually take a little bit more water on top of that. Luckily, we've got a sand green and it drops straight through like this is firm as. Considering the amount of rain that we've had, like this is super firm. Which is why sand is so great for a putting surface and for sports turf areas because you can play on them within 10 minutes of having a major rain event. So it's good, but it needs to stop raining. Well, it can rain, maybe some light rain and not some heavy rain. <laughs> I've been itching to mow this area because I didn't get a cut yesterday. And I've been doing daily cuts at the moment, double cuts so in two directions and I'm getting about a catcher and a half off um, from a double cut so the first cut I get a full catcher and the second cut I'll get half a catcher now the greens about 500 square meters so we're getting quite a bit of grass off because we're pushing it so much to get it to fill in which it's filling in I've just got to keep on top of the current cutting if you know what I mean and a day like this slows me down a bit because looking at it now after walking over there with all the wash and everything probably not worth getting a cut on now so I might get some fertilizer out that I'm due for. Um, this is a really low nitrogen product. Um, it's more for the carbon coating in it to help hold some nutrients and organics in our soil as well. So we're not gonna be pushing too much growth with this stuff. And last thing, I just wanna quickly talk about mowing um, with the mower here. So I've been using the tire at the moment because I am still collecting a tiny, tiny bit of sand with this mower when I'm mowing. So every time that I do one cut, on this green in one direction. I take it off the green and then adjust the reel to the bed knife to make sure it's cutting paper again. And if it's not cutting paper, 
um, after I adjust the reel to the bed knife, I go and backlap it. So I'm finding I'm backlapping this probably every two double cuts. So every time I do four cuts over it, I'll then backlap this. So this is kind of what happens when you're bringing a green in or you're bringing something back from renovation. You'll find you collect sand for a while and you do start to blunt your reel quite a bit. So it's a good thing I've got this old mower and I'm able to do this and bring it in like that. But it's constant like if I did one cut now on the green and then tried to do a second cut without adjusting the reel back down to the bed knife, I actually you can see parts where it tends to bruise the actual bent grass out there and it becomes a little bit of a problem because it is such young grass. If it's grabbing it and not cutting it, you're going to cause damage, cause problems with disease, and it's going to make problems for us in the long run. Plus, we're going to stunt the growth because we're not giving it a clean cut either. So, you always need to make sure you've got a clean mower. Even with your normal lawn, like it's cutting cleanly, so it's always looking schmick and you're not stressing it out. It's always going to hold water better, it's going to have more resistance against disease and even insects as well because it's going to have a bit stronger and healthier plant. So every time I've been cutting at the moment, I've been cutting, double cutting as I said, but always cutting different directions. And the thought process behind this is to really help it push and grow sideways. Because when you're mowing it and the roller's going across it, it does push it in a direction and that does actually help it sort of creep and spread. That regular mowing just really does promote lateral growth because you, you're chopping the top off so it goes, all right, then it'll let me to grow upwards. So we're gonna grow sideways. So let's just see how we go. Hopefully it doesn't rain the next little bit, but let's see if we can get one cut done just on that diagonal there. got that one cut done definitely needs a double cut and I mean it's got about half a catcher there and that's on a wet cut normally on a dry cut you'd get quite a bit more than that wet cuts obviously they t tend to collect up the top a bit and everything sticks everywhere you get some sticking to the reel some will fall out as well because it doesn't quite shoot into the back of the catcher properly so we probably got a little bit over half a catcher off a single cut there so that goes to show it has slowed down a little bit so the nutrients have probably leached out of this area because we've had so so much rain so there's probably not quite as much nitrogen pushing it now so um yeah we'll be fine putting some fertilizer out today we're still getting rain like even when i was mowing then it just kept sharing on and off but i'm really impressed with how the green held up with a cut how firm it is um, and how quickly the water drops through it which is why we went with that sand in the first place is so you know if we get uber heavy rain like we've been getting and i need to get out and mow I'm gonna be able to mow within 20 minutes of having a heavy storm. It's really cool to see that, it's exciting. So we're putting out our MP Carbon Green today. We're gonna to put this stuff out at two kilos per 100 square meters. So actually lower than the recommended rate because we're gonna be doing it more often. So basically spoon feeding this area as we have been with our lighter rates with our liquid fertilizers as well. But doing it constantly. Because we're in a sand profile, we're trying to get it to push sideways. You don't do this to a normal lawn as I've said to you guys. You only really do it if you're trying to get an area to repair or you're trying to grow in a green or something like that because excess nitrogen is not really worth it because then the rest of your lawn has to try to keep up with it. It grows super long. You start leaching nutrients out of the soil or losing nutrients because you're pushing so much growth and it's soaking all your nutrients up from your soil as well. So as you can see, prill's nice and tiny. It'll sit down fine in that canopy and the mower won't pick it up. Now this time I've made sure the fertilizer's pretty shut. Perfect timing with that, the rain's starting to come back in, so it makes me feel good. Now, it looks so much better after a cut. Yeah, I can't believe the difference it makes, to be honest, once you get a cut down on it. Just how much more pure this is starting to look, starting to feel in. Now, something I just wanted to quickly talk about. I'm not sure if you guys can see this on camera, you can. These light green patches like this. So this is a lot of the new growth. 
Um, but it's also a sign that it is a little bit hungry, so it's gone a little bit off colour. When you start to see a little bit of colour difference in your green, if you've got the same cultivars throughout it and you haven't got patches of like power when you grass and even maybe some cooch and something else, if you're seeing spots like that, it's a good sign that your lawn is hungry or your golf green and it's in need of a feed. Now the only reason this is so hungry all the time is because again full of sand doesn't have a lot of organic matter built up at the moment to hold nutrients so a lot of it's dropping through um, so that's why this here is a little bit more hungry and we have to keep on top of the feeding um, hope you guys understand that, that I'm not just chucking product out to try to make it grow quick but it's actually because it isn't really holding nutrients in this area just here well, we'll start to do more and more especially that carbon green product will help it do that and my, the, um, my lawn tips mix as well with all the microbes in there that'll actually promote a lot of more organic matter sort of building up and helping hold nutrients and helping this area feed off what's already in there instead of just relying on liquid fertilizer applications and your granular applications as well but it is starting to look good man really starting to look good be good when these bare patches fill in they've already started to creep in a bit as you can see we've got some new growth in the middle of it so everything is starting to creep and fill in that was actually where a fox dug um, I found out this foxes, I heard them one night going nuts off in the distance. They actually dug up all around the edge here, I just didn't film it because I was frustrated. <laughs> um, but it's really starting to look good, like, even walking over it. Like, you can just see the difference from even a couple of weeks ago. This is, this has actually knitted up even in the last couple of days, even more than last time I showed you guys. Man, wowzers. Well, the rain's really starting to set in now, but I thought before I wrap the video up, let's get a golf ball out. Well, it really is raining. And see how it rolls. Obviously, it's wet, cutting a 6.5 mil. Only had a single cut, but we'll show you how it rolls. Ready? Now, that's a slope down there once it gets down there, but it's rolling. I'm getting out of this rain. <laughs> Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Gonna wrap it up now because this rain is coming in heavy, but. Excited, I'm going to show you guys that, take a fire later in the week, how it's going to hold the edges, overseed some patches, bring a hider cut down in the next video, lots going on, getting excited, so anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys very soon.